Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So, a couple of people have asked in the past uh, about me doing a review for my Range Rover Veloc steering wheel. So, I just wanted to go through all of the features that this steering wheel comes with and hopefully give you guys an idea of the capability of it. So, let's just get straight into it. It's a hard thing to know That you're so weird Right, so first of all, just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the actual design of the steering wheel so it's got this nice little leather trim around it it's very comfortable it's got the uh, Range Rover logo right there in the middle now this feels like it's uh, made of a uh, sort of plastic um, but again it's pretty solid you've got the uh, metallic trim around the middle of it you have this bump at uh, 10 and 2 which basically is very comfortable when you're driving you can put your thumb around the top of it and uh, it keeps it nice and uh, locked in terms of the grip and then you also have your uh, horn as the entire uh, panel in the middle in the winter months when you're driving you're gripping the steering wheel it is actually quite cold there's no heated steering wheel option much like you can get in some of the new cars nowadays but this uh, metallic bit here is very cold even now when I'm touching it it's quite cold to hold so I would try to avoid using that but um, you also have the uh, shift pedals at the back of the steering wheels there. Uh, these are also made of metal. Right, so the main standout feature for the uh, Range Rover Velar steering wheel are these two little panels here. They're both touchscreen, gesture operated. So let's start off with the left one here. So here you have the uh, menu button there right in the middle. So if you select that, you'll see at the uh, dashboard right in the middle, you'll see it'll open up a, a menu option. So driver assistance, that kind of stuff, um, and you can cycle through by hitting the uh, down option. So if I go open that again, you can see I can uh, cycle through. So I'm gonna keep going down. So trip, the display, vehicle settings, vehicle information, driver assistant, etc., etc. If I click OK, that will basically update that to the next menu if I select right I can keep going in and cycling through the different menu options press the left arrow to go back and back and then I can cycle through them again so that basically brings up the menu and the system settings that you want to change for the actual car itself from there now obviously it goes back to the main menu uh, if you don't do anything for 10 seconds Next, I'm going to be talking about this uh, side panel here. These are the volume buttons, so I can press plus or minus to increase or decrease the volume of the radio or the music playing in the car. But again, if I didn't want to press, I can simply just swipe and it will start giving me an option to increase the volume by going right clockwise or decrease the volume by going anti-clockwise to the left. So this option on the right hand side is for next and previous track if you're listening to music but if you have the radio station on this will go to the next station or the previous station. Like the uh, volume controls this one cannot be swiped and uh, taken out of context for the rest of them that only works with the volume one. So this one you'd only have to press either the previous or the next ones. So if I show you an example I'll turn the radio on. and then I'll click on next it's gone to the next radio station here the next option you have is this uh, call button so if you press that that will bring up the uh, phone menu so you'll be able to dial someone um, as long as you've got your phone paired for Bluetooth you can contact them and if you do take a call this will turn green and underneath you will have the red hang up option there this option here on the right hand side is the voice command so if you press that play magic radio station would you like to tune to FM or DAB? FM. Tuning to Magic. There you go, and that's the voice control there. Right, so you notice that there's a little diamond icon here. That basically means it's your favorites button, and you can set that to do anything you like, either via a single press or a long press. So I'll show you how to do that. So what you have to do, is go into your Velar settings screen here. Go to settings, all settings, go into features, and if you scroll down to the bottom, there's something called favorite button. Select that. You can see that there's an icon there. 
So for my short press is to mute the music, long press is to cancel my navigation. So every time I use my navigation, I've reached the uh, destination. I always have to go in to the menu, click on stop guidance, confirm and so on. So this will just make it do that very quickly. So it's really convenient. There's loads of different options. If you go in here, you can see, well, actually there's not that many to be honest, but um, it's uh, probably one of the most common uh, parts of the uh, uh, features that you're going to use on the car. Now switching over to the right hand side panel, this is basically your driving panel. So set, resume and the minus buttons here will be the cruise control. So when you're driving, you can just click on the set plus that will set the cruise at the speed you're going at, at the time of pressing it. If you'd like to reduce the speed and uh, set it to something lower, just keep hitting the minus. And if you just want to uh, cancel it, you'll have a cancel option there as well. So you hit that. So when you're driving and you've uh, press the brake or you've accelerated faster than the actual cruise control, you can come back and hit resume and it'll go back to the setting that you did. This uh, button here called LIM, that's basically the speed limiter. So if for any reason you're in an area where you don't want to exceed a certain speed limit, you hit that and it will set it at the speed limit that you're driving at at that time. So if for example, you want to limit it at 40 miles per hour, you can do that by hitting this. And then lastly, you have this icon here with the lanes. That's obviously the uh, road lane assist. So if you're on the motorway and you want to make sure that you don't sway into other lanes, you just basically hit that, it will turn orange. And basically the whole steering wheel will start vibrating if it detects that you're swaying into different lanes without indicating. So that is very dependent on the indicator signal. So if you don't indicate and you're swaying lanes, then um, it will warn you by shaking the steering wheel like that and uh, wake you up again in case you're very tired. And lastly, you can also adjust the height of the steering wheel by this button here. So you turn the knob to unlock it and then you can move the steering wheel up or down. like so and then you just move it back into locked position and you're ready to go so that's about it guys i hope that was a, a very useful quick run through of the velar steering wheel if you have any other questions about its capabilities then do drop a comment below otherwise i'll be adding this video and all my other videos relating to my range rover velar in its own playlist i'll have the link to the playlist in the description as well Otherwise, I hope you subscribe. I've got tons more Velar videos coming out in the future, which I know you're going to like. Until next time, guys, take care.